Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Merkah Kadash. Double honors today, all the apostles of great wisdom. Pitching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, uh, scattered through the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like up to the speckled bird. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And this is another sit down on this Thursday afternoon at uh, 6 39 p.m. Central Standard Time on this June the 2nd, 2022. And the title of this uh, sit-down lesson for this quick sit-down, for another uh, quick sit-down lesson, I uh, meant to say Salakia. And the title of this lesson is going to be, uh, Seeing It Is A Righteous Thing With Yahweh Thy Power To Recompense Tribulation To Them That Trouble You. And this is a uh, Second Thessalonians chapter one verse six and verse six through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, "Seeing it is a righteous thing, to, righteous thing with Yahweh thy power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you." Right? You know, because all these uh, scoffers and scorners and mockers. Uh, that mock the man of the Lord, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, is, uh, you just, once you keep on doing that, you just mark yourself, you know, you know, all right, because that's an uh, automatic mark yourself, you know, as long as you, uh, because like, like, uh, scripture says in the last days, there should be, uh, scoffers and, scoffers and scorners walking after their own lust, I believe. I roughly paraphrase. So those are prime examples, especially with the uh, Idumians and these other nations there to the children of Israel. You know, like the scripture says, and this is targeting these Idumians. You know, who possess a slave and hold themselves not guilty. You know, these Idumians. You know, and the Heavenly Father, uh, He recompenses what's required, which is of old. You know. He were, he requires uh, a what's of old and right now to this day, you know, these Idumians, which is in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5, because uh, Esau and Edom had perpetual, never stopping, ending, continual, uh, perpetual, not liking the children of Israel and shedding the B-L-O-O-D, you know, it's still to this day, you know. And then these other nations over the children of Israel, making money in their communities and stuff like that. You know, uh, they should lean, lean unto thee, you know, because we, because, uh, you know, because the children of Israel, you know, we at the bottom of every society. Well, you know, we're rich, we're, we're, we might be poor. But we are rich in the spirit, you know, of Yahweh Shemel especially as the ones that's in this truth. Yeah, you know, the Israelites, yeah, you know, they, they have jobs and stuff and everything. But these heavy curses fit the children of Israel. Because that let you know we're the, the, the sons and daughters of the, of the Most High, you know. That let you know these curses uh, fit us, you know. Hey, these uh, other nations that uh, treated the children of Israel bad, you know, this recompense is going to come on their head double, you know, in those times ahead that we are living in, you know. Because, you know, like the scripture said, uh, vengeance, vengeance is the heavenly fathers, you know. You know, like the scripture says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't have to do nothing. Even though, yes, the heavenly father is going to use spirit heat spirits uh what's in the book of ecclesiastes chapter 39 verse 28 you know spirits that are created for vengeance yes that's so but us men of the lord that's in this truth you know we don't have to lay hands on nobody or put no hands on nobody nothing like that the ones that mock and scoff for especially our own people you know because two-thirds of israel is not going to make it as well too along with the other nations as well too you know but you know we don't have to uh because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you know. The Holy Scriptures is our protection, you know. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh, that's our protection, you know. 
and Lord willing that the Heavenly Father continue to uh, protect us through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, and continue to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in these last days, and that's in the book of Isaiah 33, verse 6, I roughly paraphrase, you know, right, because, you know, recompense coming unto them that scoff and mock the children of Israel, recompense coming to them that ruled over the children of Israel, you know, uh, mock, scoff at them, uh, treat them badly and stuff like that, you know. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, the children of Israel, you know, we do bad things as well, too, you know, towards the other nations, you know. But, you know, the Heavenly Father uh, required which is double, you know, because what they did to the Israelites back then until now, you know, the Heavenly Father required what's that is if of old, you know, Salaki. And he's gonna require what's uh from back then and to now as, as well too, you know. Uh this is the book of a precept. This is the book of Colossians chapter three, verse twenty five. And verse twenty five in the book of Colossians. But he that does wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done. And there is no respectable person, right? Because there is no respectable person in Yahweh in the sight of, of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too. You know, like they say, uh, like they say in all the same the world, what goes around comes around, you know? You know, like the James Brown song, The Big Payback, you know? Because... Even though uh, vengeance is of the Lord, you know, vengeance is belongs to the Heavenly Father, you know. That's why the men of the Lord we have to do nothing, you know, because our weapons of warfare are not carnal, you know. We're not carnal, carnal minded like that, you know. You know, our protection is the Heavenly Father, you know. That's why we put on the whole armor of the Heavenly Father, you know. So we can be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil and the wiles of the devil of this world of physical and spiritual Satan as well, too. You know, even though the Heavenly Father, uh, he's not a respectable person because anybody can get judged and get jacked up, you know, especially us. That's in this truth as well, too. That's how uh, powerful uh, the Heavenly Father and the Son of God and Son is as well, too. Yeah, I was shy, you know. Hey, but recompense comes on to them that trouble you, you know. What's that uh, scoffing, mocking, laughing at the servants of the prophecy? How about you, Mount Shai? Even though we don't care, you know, because it's going to come on to you any other way, you know, because cause vengeance is the Heavenly Fathers. It's not uh, of ours, it's vengeance of the Heavenly Fathers, you know, of Yah, about you, Mount Shai, you know. Uh, Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8 for said uh, for thus saith the Lord of hosts after after the glory he sent me unto the nations which spoil you for he that touches you you to touch the apple of his eye right these nations touch the apple of the Lord's eye talking about these Oh, look at these guys. They got nothing. You know, all they do is complain and get emotional. All they talking about, no justice, no peace, and all that. Look what they doing in society. They are the problem of society. You know, they lazy. They don't want to get no jobs and all that. But wait, wait a minute, you know. These, you know, even though we are not acting like it, as the people of the Most High, but, hey, the Most High is going to repent unto these nations of what y'all did to the children of Israel. Just like I mentioned again, you know, uh, the Heavenly Father will require what's that of old and right now as well, too. Because you are spoiling the children of Israel. You're making money off of them. You know, you're making a bunch of money in the hair industry. You're making a bunch of money in the liquor industry. You're making a bunch of money of uh, these Israelites uh, smoking cigarettes, smoking cigars and, and weed and all that and such, you know. 
You know, you're making money off the children of Israel, you know. You always say, uh, Jake always doing crime towards y'all and everything. But wait a minute. Y'all making money off the children of Israel, you know. But we try to set up shop in y'all communities. Y'all say that's a, that's a no-no. But when y'all try to make money in our community, oh, that's racist, you know. Or oh, that's racist. They, you know, I thought everybody was equal and all that. But when trying to set up shop or live in y'all communities, you know, I, I have a problem with that. That's a his, his, his hypocrisy at an all-time high, you know. Hey, so like the scripture says, Zechariah 28, you know, you know the uh, the ones that trust the apple of the Lord's eye, you know, and it's going to be recompense for that, you know, because this is the Heavenly Father's vengeance uh, upon, uh, upon you other nations that what you did to the children of Israel, you know. Like I mentioned again, yeah, Jake might do crown towards each other and towards the other nations. But the Heavenly Father, he requires that uh, what's his old in the past until now, you know. Just like you robbed and spoiled the children of Israel, y'all going to get that recompense back onto y'all double, you know. Especially in the uh, small hatters and the Idumians as well, too. They on top of that list, you know. Because the vengeance is the Heavenly Father's, you know. Uh, you know, it belongs to him. Vengeance is, is the vengeance is is of uh, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, because you touch the apple of the Lord's eye, and that recompense is come upon your own head, you know, when that time comes. But with that, uh, I hope this uh, quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh El Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Aki, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Aki, that be like unto the speck of bird, uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and the Bible Ball.